Hello everybody and welcome you all. So it's a very exciting day because today we're going to talk about one of the very interesting topic of the React JS and that is not called working with the React context. So we will talk about the introduction like what is the React context, when to use React context, context APIs and the demo. So the intention of this particular presentation is to give you the correct idea in React what benefit you utilize it or you get it when you use a context context api now the first question is like in the existing react application okay where the context api is really useful so let's talk about some introduction to react context now first important thing we need to understand a typical application when we talk about a react application so data is always passed through what from the top down approach with the help of props as we know it very well if we have a component like an a b and c and if c components wants to get the data from a so a cannot directly pass the data to c because c is a child of b and b is a child of a so according to the rule so data has to be passed through the proper hierarchy that is known as called drilling down the props which is one of the very very complicated area because when you have a called complex hierarchy and if you are making a lot of middlemen in between so this create a lot of confusion in your development and hence your application gets more and more complex so to avoid such kind of scenarios so we have this option like in react context so in context api what happens is like here uh, the data can be passed directly to any of the component whichever needs that so data gets stored in a centralized environment and from there it get passed down to all its child wherever it needs whether it is a direct child or it is a indirect so this is what the benefit you get it with the help of props here so if you see the main component have got lot many childs so using the props you are passing the data to all its child directly but the challenge here is that all childs are direct child of main component what in case if we have further childs so that create a lot of trouble okay so create context is basically the way where you can pass a data directly to the components and cut down the all middlewares okay to your applications and that's what the context api and the question is like when to use a context api so as you can see it is clearly written like context is basically designed to be considered as a global state which any of the components tree can easily get it directly from its parent okay without involving any of its child directly now you see like here we have a call app component which have the language as a function and here we have a call select language so you are passing the data here to its child okay so you see here the language component needs to take a very important extra component that is known as called what lang and pass it to the selected language so this could be further painful or more complicated when on every single button if the app needs to know the language and what it is passed to the other components so we want to basically cut down all so context api we want to use it okay with using this areas like in react.create context so this create context helps you to create a context in a parent component whichever you want and let other components subscribe to this so whenever the changes are happened they would be immediately informed about that so here we have a call provider so here every single context okay so comes with a react provider so they are basically trying to consume the state whichever is being available with the context so using this property like in class or context type you actually consume the nearest current of the context with using this dot context now we have a call consumer so this particular component which is actually subscribing to the changes okay so this let you basically subscribe to the context with a functional component and here we have a call context or display name it basically accept a display name as a string property okay which you can easily drag through when you talk about react dev tools 
Now let's talk about a demo of our development. So now here, let's get involved on the demo part. But before that, I would like to show you one simple problem statement which you feel it. So this, if you see, we have got context API which is available here. So here you can see this is a property drilling where you have got parent, you have further childs, and you have further childs. So the component properties are keep on going through through multiple mediators which you want to avoid okay and the right hand side if you see this one is basically the parent and immediately passed down to where to the child and you see like here it is happening this is the wrong approach where the data is basically going in a waterfall model this is better because here the data is being passed from parent to any other child directly so that's what the benefit you get it okay everybody so it's time to basically talk about some quick demo so that it can help us to understand how we can utilize this react context api for our development so here uh, this is my project which is there already developed in my browser i just when i open up i see here in localhost 3000 I'm, I'm getting this as a welcome message so nothing fancy let's get started with creating a new component i'm creating a new folder when you call components and inside this I'm going to create a new file and give the name anything whichever I want I say index dot js or else I can give some different name called main app dot js that looks fine well here I need to import Okay, import react from react. Well, let's go back and start developing a function. So I'm developing function app because I'm talking about functional component. Return div. And within this div tag, I'm using this h2 tag. And now here we are saying welcome to app component. Okay, so that's a just a basic example. We have it. Going ahead, I would like to add few more components like function employee and uh, the same thing. Return and here once again. Okay, and here once again I'm saying H2. Welcome to employee component. Okay, so like this, I can copy. And have one more that is called salary and I'm saying welcome to salary component so these are the basic component sets which are available to me now certainly you would be having some parent and uh, accordingly you can have some child also so we have to make some components as a parent so what I will do here is in my app here I will make employee here I would like to make okay that means employee is a com child of app and uh, salary is a child of employee component okay so it's very very simple and straightforward and uh, later on I can have uh, the new component ready in which I can deploy this and make it available to the end user. Okay, so let's see what I'm having it now. So here we have a call app, and here we are saying um, finally 
equal to I'll just give the name called main app that looks more better main app and here we are using react dom so we want to basically render it wherever I want it so what else what we can do is on the other side uh, we can say export default main app we can do like this in this main app I can add it in my app.js file so it came from here and let's check well I got this message printed here so this is very simple and straightforward like you in creating a parent and child relationship so now the actual job comes when my application is having some of the details which I'm looking at it okay that means I want to have a data so as I said earlier that when you're creating the react based component so you need to have some relationships where the data can be stored in anywhere so in the next example I will show you how to store the data in a main app and how we can pass it to the others now we will be providing the data to our main component which is my main app so here I would like to provide const here we can have because we are talking about state management so we are saying employee employee equal to use state use state and here in our use state we will provide some of the important information like an id suppose i say 101 and i say name and i can just give the name called admin and uh, so we have a call id we have a call name let's try to put it okay it has to be here yeah id uh, name admin and now we're talking about location we can say Pune and uh, let's talk about salary and we can give any salary like one two three four five so here we have got this uh, quick state which we have created okay so the next thing is like once your state is ready okay so you have to provide some input through which the data can be available to the others and to make this possible here above this we are providing const employee context equal to react dot create context so we are initializing our context to confirm what we are really doing this now and in this context whichever I'm having it now I would like to provide a data which I can easily access to my other components so now here once I provide a context here okay so when I see this welcome to this component you can see we have a call employee available yeah so what I will be doing is now here we'll be saying employee context we're saying employee context dot provider okay now here we want to provide I close this yeah so here we are providing value value equal to the value object so what value object we are having it right now here that is called employee so this is state we are initially providing it here and this area wherever the context is basically available will be providing this employee object and pass it within this so this employee object which we are having it 
So now you can see the context is closed here. So now within this context, we have passed this employee. So the all data will be available to this employee object now. And that's the best part of this code now. Okay. Now this context, I can easily get it in my employee. Okay. And access all the details, whichever I wanted. Now, if I see here, I can come down and I say, let context equal to now we are using this option like in use context and inside this use context we are talking about employee context so we got the details whatever we have set it on the top okay and here i can set the details like we are saying welcome to the employee component so we have got a lot many things available here so label so let's provide the details here so we are saying employee id colon here we can use the details okay by saying context dot you can see we have got details available like an id likewise i can just copy it paste it employee name Called employee name so we also have a part of this id name location so we can also pass location okay so we have got those uh, details available with us and in a similar line whatever details we have taken it from there I can also pass it where in my salary component too, where I can display the salary related details into my code. So like here, I can just copy this here. Okay, so we got employee context which is available and here I can provide the same number of amount like uh, but this time I may require, sorry. I may require the name as well as the salary both. Okay. So these two details, whichever you want, you can easily get it and make it available to the client. Okay. So this using use context you're actually trying to retrieve all the relevant information which was required and you can see it is available here. So the same employee which is there, now I can have this employee details under my employee component and under the my salary, we have a call salary component. So that's something which makes your context API more interesting because this is where you avoid bringing any middleware and make this data or component easily accessible outside. So hope you're clear what context API is all about and why we use it. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.